Our next guest is a fashion designer, producer, entrepreneur, and founder of the Kitty Rose Lifestyle. We welcome Catherine S. Warren of Kitty Rose to the show and to share more about her work. But more, I mean, this was an impromptu, but also you are a Bronze Net producer. So can we give her a round of applause for that? Here's my uh, camera. Our access producer here. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a show here at yes. Bronson called Natural Sessions, yes, right? Yes, I do. And um, you, you were trained here as I an was. access producer. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about that. Talk to us about your show and your okay. experience as a Bronson producer. Well, I took the uh, field producer certification course mm -hmm. um, back in 2015. So right away, well not really right away, about a few months later, I kind of already knew the concept of what it is that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I was producing radio. Um, so it was just a natural evolvement, I guess, to go into television. Right. Um, and then I, I started um, filming um, in North Carolina last year. Wow. And because of a breakup, <laughs> I developed this, I realized that I had a show. Um, so I did my, you know, paperwork with BronxNet, and I've been on since last September of, what's this year now, 2017? 2017. So I've been on since um, September of 2016, a full year now. With yes. that. And excellent. I'm in my third season. Good. So, yes. so talk to us about, about the show. Is it a lifestyle show? Okay. Um, a scripted show? Um, it's a raw, candid conversation style, documentary style show, mm -hmm. similar to us, um, similar to Open, but we're not in a studio environment where mm -hmm. we shoot on location. Um, and I'm on on Thursdays at midnight because I cuss and smoke. <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't really. She doesn't really. Smoke. She doesn't yeah, really I do. <laughs> but the funny thing is, I She's really it don't for though. TV. <laughs> but that. But the funny thing is, I don't. Out of forty guests, we might have had two or three people actually smoke on the show. Right, right. But it's a. It's a. Like I said, it's a candid conversation where we talk about life, love, and everything in between. Mm -hmm. But where people see themselves in other people's narrative. Okay. I think a lot of times the struggles that we go through, you know, we keep them secretive and they get to, they repeat the cycles because no one talks about them because we're shame or embarrassed or we just don't make the time. Mm -hmm. So this show allows you to see the story in someone else that you may not think of or you may not look like, but see the similar, hear the similar story to know that you're not alone. And then now maybe knowing that you're not alone, maybe you can use their tools or just knowing you're not alone to kind of get out of the embarrassment and be, begin to heal yourself outside of trying to heal world problems start with the in. healing within yourself absolutely and you know it's always so good to see when uh, individuals come here for the training courses and they actually put what they've mm -hmm. learned into action and so I applaud you for keeping up with it and also having your show on for a year thank you so what Bronx, are you I'm go sorry. ahead no go right ahead I was gonna say well BronxNet has actually been also a great assistance also that's all I wanted to plug them and let them know that they're doing their thing as well <laughs> excellent yes we love our field trainers here mm -hmm. um, Audrey Duncan who's in charge of the um, director for mm -hmm. the training program. She does a wonderful job as well with all of the, the teachers as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what, tell us more about what inspires you to do your show and what's your goal for the future for it? What inspired me to do Natural Sessions was really, again, we are in a, a stage of life where everyone wants to, you know, heal the bigger problems. Um, but what I realized is that in order for us to heal the bigger problems, we have to hear what's kind of not cool about ourselves mm -hmm. and take accountability. So I kind of just want to, you know, take the take the take that band aid off and not do temporary healing. Mm -hmm. I actually want to provide solid action plans for people to to do that self healing and know that it's okay because it's just a part of life and then within that self-healing then they can do the healing in their homes and then in the healing in the homes then on a global level we can actually make change so that's that's pretty much what my goal is it's like in order for us to I want to be the change, what they say, that you want to see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm not a talker. Well, I am a talker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a doer. I'm an action girl. And, you know, I, I was a minister at the age of 10, and I just feel like I'm following my purpose. Excellent. And I love that you said that because um, Bronsonet, once again, it's about training local residents. Exactly. And you came here, you're spreading your mission, mm -hmm. you're spreading your movement to your neighbors. Yes. You know, so talk about how important that is or how it's made you feel. You know, when people are watching you and they're saying, you know what, Catherine, this is, that was a great show. You know, you, your advice really helped me. 
Well, it's, it's, it's good and bad. Well, no, it's all good. Mm -hmm. But I say the bad because with all the good comments you get, you get now your slew of, well, why you did that? And right. why did you talk about that? And that was too much. But the good overshadows that, which allows me to keep going. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's, it's that, that community, I'm, I'm that village girl. Yeah. I'm that yeah. person who believes in, in taking care of the village and being involved in the village. And I grew up as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Mm -hmm. So going knocking on my neighbor's doors is not new to me, talking to my community, right. sharing with my community, especially when it comes to the urgency of life. We don't have time to just sit on the, on the, on the what they call it, on the, on the field, on the, on the sideline. sidelines. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to actually be a part of action. And again, you know, these sayings that we have out there are not sayings for no reason. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a, if you want to see change, you have to be a part of it. If you want to be a part of what's going on, then you have to be involved tomorrow. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? November 7th, plug, plug, because yes. I'm not a voter, but I'm also not a complainer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So my thing is, if you're going to talk about and complain about something, then what are you doing? Right. So I use that same question to myself, like Michael said, man in the mirror, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. If I'm not putting in that work and that action, then shame on me. Right. And I know as an access producer, you were talking about earlier that you can't do it alone. A, a lot of times what we suggest is that access producers Thank get you. together <laughs> and help one another mm -hmm. in promoting their shows and producing their shows right. because it is a team effort. So yes. if someone is sitting out there and they want to help you on your show, how can they get in touch with you? Well, I encourage BronxNet producers to work with them with each other. I encourage the field access producers to work with the studio producers. Mm -hmm. I encourage the studio producers to work with the field because you can't do it alone. And for for the most part, we all do have the same kind of message in as far as getting to the people. So, you know, find me online, Miss Kitty Rose One, M S K I T T Y R O S E, <laughs> the number one. My handle is the same on all social media. BronxNet, we got a producers page on That's Facebook. Right. So, you know, producers who are looking to work together, yo, if you can find, yo, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> okay. You can find me you can in that group. <laughs> yeah. You can find me in that group page and be like, yo, I want to work with you. Yeah. I'm always looking for more work. Excellent. Assistance. Well, you know not about work. the hard rap as an access producer. Yes, we have you to know. go. <laughs> so, but um, as Kitty was saying, mm -hmm. Catherine, um, you know, if you want to be an access producer, you know, you could just log on to bronxnet.org and check out how you could be a field or studio producer.